We're here at the nation's largest celebration of STEM, the USA Science and Engineering Festival at the DC Convention Center. And sitting next to me is Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, uh, explosion scientist. Hi. That's what I like to think of you, but oh, I, I know that. you do so much more. Please tell us what, what your career background is. Oh, okay, so I have a PhD in inorganic chemistry and I am a professor of instruction at the University of Texas at Austin, hook em horns. Uh, and so I teach general chemistry for both majors and non-majors, but my favorite thing is I get to go out to local Austin schools and now more recently out across the country and I do this outreach program called Fun with Chemistry and I go to these schools, I blow stuff up and I just try to show <laughs> kids that science is fun and entertaining and you don't have to be a dork to like science. You can just be a normal girl who likes fire. Yes, who <laughs> likes fire. I love it. I watch some of your videos on YouTube oh. and I just love all of the, the interactive, you know, science experiments that you do that are really just awesome to watch. I mean, so much fun and I definitely agree. That's how you catch the attention of young people. You've got to come in with a bang, mm -hmm. literally, right? Absolutely. That's awesome. So how did you get involved in chemistry? Did, did you have that passion for chemistry? chemistry at a young age? Oh, great question. Um, I always liked asking questions and I liked mixing things together to figure out what would happen, but I didn't know that was what a scientist was. For me, I was just doing fun things in the bathroom with my shampoo and conditioner and whatnot. Um, but it wasn't really until I was 15 and I was a sophomore in high school where I had this incredible teacher. Her name was Mrs. Kelly Palsrock and she changed my life. She would run around the classroom, light stuff on fire. She was just energetic, excited. Everything was just incredible. And so ever since I was 15, I knew I wanted to be a chemist. Wow, that, that was simple. It. And that your was a teacher. She she changed your life. I love her so much. I'm so grateful for her because I know there were other people in my classroom that were not into chemistry. I mean, I went to a small school. We weren't all going to be PhD chemists. I know that, and so I just am very grateful looking back that she took the time to foster my learning and answer all of my questions. I must have been so annoying. So thank you, Mrs. Palsrock. I love you so much. Are you still in touch with her? <laughs> I am. Yeah. The day after I got my PhD, I actually sent her this huge bouquet. I was broke, right? Because I have no money after graduate school so I'd saved all my money for this sent her this huge uh, bouquet of flowers and basically just said I want you to know you changed my life and I am so grateful that you inspired me because I wouldn't be here without you and that kind of started us talking again. That so. is beautiful. And Aww. yesterday we had nearly 50,000 school kids here with their teachers, <laughs> which is really exciting. You know, I, I know the teachers were thrilled because they were like, oh, I could use this in the classroom, this in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure those who come today will see your stage performance. So. You're performing today and tomorrow, right? Yeah. Two shows. Two shows. Two Perfect. Shows. What can we expect at your stage show? Ooh, okay. I'm not going to give too much away, but basically high energy, number one. Um, today is going to be more my cryogenics, my driest liquid nitrogen. And then I have a little stuff in the middle that's kind of my magic aspect and even though I know that's a bad word for science but it's something kind of cool little color changes things you wouldn't expect I would say and tomorrow's my favorite part fire just all fire the whole show's fire <laughs> um, I had to get special insurance in order to do fire in this incredible beautiful building but they let me do it so tomorrow's my fire go show ahead. Oh, tomorrow's fire show. okay so Saturday is the cryogenics and then did I say that right yeah cryogenics. cryogenics okay perfect perfect and then Sunday is fire. all about fire cold and hot I love it easy very easy. <laughs> so what piece of advice would you give to a young person who wants to be like you? Oh my gosh. Um, I would say don't ever let anybody tell you no. Apply for everything because you never know who's going to apply for this scholarship, this program, or whatever. Just try. Uh, worst case scenario, somebody says, no, you can't get into this program, but then you're going to get into somebody else. So I would, or into another program, I should say. But just don't ever let anybody tell you no. Don't, anybody, don't ever let anybody who looks at you and says, oh, you're a girl, you can't do science. Like, don't let that, mm -mm, don't let that happen. I can't tell you how many times people have been like, ah, you're a girl, you're going to be at home. Like, I'm not at home. You don't want me cooking anything for you. That would be a disaster. Let me blow up stuff for you. There you go. The alternative. And then we're going to see each other later on at yes. the Girls in STEM Luncheon, which we're hosting here at the Convention Center for about 100 girls. We're going to come together and have a nice conversation so they can see you up close and get to talk to you and ask real questions. Right. Yeah. It's so important to humanize the scientists because they see you in a lab coat and goggles and they automatically assume X, Y, and Z about you. But I love designer shoes. Um, I love soccer. I love to be outside. And so it's really fun for me to talk to students about how I also have a life outside of science and you can be a girl you can be feminine and like science um, but you could also be a fitness instructor I used to be a kickboxing instructor when I was in graduate school yeah really? I love kickboxing <laughs> so I don't have time for it anymore um, but my favorite class to teach was actually step classes because I would teach the old ladies and they wanted these hard choreography and it was so fun I could so. definitely see you as a dance instructor mm -hmm. and a kickboxing it. instructor it's so fun <laughs> you have the energy for it I love it <laughs> well excellent well I'm looking forward to your stage shows today and tomorrow and I know you will too so make sure you come out and see Dr. Kate Bieberdorf 
course. and watch her show. <laughs> it's going to be so awesome. Yes. What do we have to look forward to in the future? Anything, any new projects coming up? Yes, definitely. And so I am officially trying to pursue my dream of following in Bill Nye and Steve Spangler's footsteps. So I have an agent and a manager and we're working all these little things in LA. And so send me your good vibes, guys. Please send me your good vibes. I want to be successful in this world and just show the next generation of scientists a new version of a scientist. Like you can be a scientist and you can also be feminine and that's totally okay. That's totally okay. I love it. Love it. Well, thank you so much, Kate. Thank you. And enjoy. Have a great time. I know the kids are going to love you. And we're here. Again, we're here all weekend. So make sure you come out to SciFest and celebrate STEM with us.